has very little reason to actually go inside that building. It's too, it's too not safe. It's too dangerous in there, and you, and you, and you don't ca accomplish. It's not worth what you could possibly accomplish. Like, um, take it into account the risk of it. Stay out of buildings, guys. There you go. So, so right now he's going. He's going into a building in order to support his Winston, or to do more damage, or support his Winston. He sped up his Winston there. All right. Um, yeah, it's it, it's a. Yeah. It's dangerous. It's dangerous. It wasn't bad there, but it, it, it's dangerous. You, you generally don't want to be in a building. But it was it wasn't bad there because he was supporting his team while being inside that building. Being alone is definitely an issue. But again, being in the building, even if you're with your team. Let's say a, um, a Reaper goes in there and ults you. If you're outside, you can potentially survive that ult. No. You can find a, a place to jump to. Lack of mobility. and But there's not a reason to use that path for that reason alone. Uh, if there's an alternate path, then why not use it? Why even risk the building? Why, why not take the most optimal path? It seems like if you're using a building, you're kind of confining yourself to mediocrity. When you, it's like it's like you're accepting mediocrity when you could be just you could be at all times playing the most optimally. Like and like especially in this area, there's always a there's always a path. There's always an alternate path to where you want to go that's not inside of a building, and that path is going to be generally safer because you're freer. What if the building path is the most optimal, less protected? Uh, I would say I would say in that case yes, but I I don't know that you can determine that because a building has very poor line of sight, right? So let's say you cross into a building. Let's say you cross a corner and you go into a door. How are you before you even enter that building? How are you determining that that building is safe to enter? How do you know there's not a trap in there? You can't see. Like it. Not only is it limiting the mobility, it's limiting the amount of information you can get before actually entering it. You just have to hope that when you run that corner in that building. There's no, there's not a, a junk route or a trap there or a reaper using that building. Because remember, most people are confined to the ground. That's where, that's the path most people go through. If you're, if you're doing this, if you're, if you're in the air, not a lot of characters have access to that path. So, um, a, 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 um, an elevated path is more safe because there's less people there. You know, you're, you're not going to run into a Reinhardt up on the building, some, you know, up on the side of a building going around it. But you might run into a Reinhardt going into, you know, the, the ground level of a building just because they're resigned to the ground, right? And, and you can't see it unless there's a glass window into the building. You can't determine, oh, yeah, that's safe. But you, you have much more vision if you're trying to, like, if you're going through, you know, above that. You know, you, can, you, can, you, you have much more um, information to determine whether or not it's safe. Um, you, you, have, you have a lot of options as Lucio that the other people don't. So if you can determine, so if, if there's some way you can determine that it's safe, sure, do it. Um, but I don't know how you would determine that unless like your teammates are in there, right? If your team, so if your teammate has gone in there and you're communicating with them, they're clearing things out, you know, or you see that your team's teammates in there and that t they're not taking damage. Okay. You, they're probably, that's probably safe. Right, so that's one of the that's one of the few times you can actually go into a building. But I'd still argue that it's probably still safer to go to an alternative path because just because your teammates there doesn't mean you're safe. A lot of abilities in this game are AOE, right? So like if they're if your teammate goes in there and they're safe for a second, but then they run into a Pharah and you go in there as well, that Pharah could ult you both, or to just use their rocket on you both, or a Reaper. If their teammate runs into a Reaper, that that, that kills you all. A lot of ultimates are a lot of ability, or they they run into a Reinhardt or a May or anyone like like so many p people have AOE damage. So even though your teammate may be safe, it doesn't guarantee you're going to be safe because it, it it's not like uh, they're conventional tanks. Unless you have a Reinhardt in front of you, if that teammate's not a, a reliable Reinhardt, it's not like a conventional tank who can take aggro from you just and, and stop your yeah. stop an enemy from killing you. You know, that, that enemy could just as easily use AOB ability or focus you because you're the easier target, right? And you avoid that situation by just not being it, not putting yourself in that situation. So again, yeah, if you can determine that it's safe, sure. But I question how reliably you can actually determine that's safe, especially in a, a fast-paced game and especially in a game where you can't rely on teammates. Scrims are different. <laughs>
I just say that. Scrims are different. But in a game where you can't rely on your teammates and you would use your teammates to judge whether or not a place is safe, um, I would question it. On scrims, even if a junk reaper is holding a building alone, he would die to a four-man coordinated push. Yeah, yeah. Scrims are completely different. Scrims, you can rely on your team. I definitely agree on that. Yeah, so I have, I would have, if I were watching a scrim right now, I would have completely different advice for a scrim. But we're talking about self-reliability. We're talking about a solo queue or being dueled with someone who um, isn't a professional player, who you can't necessarily rely on. So we're talking about being self-reliant here and carrying your games, right? So in, in, in a solo queue, you know, you want to put every as many factors as you can and you're only your control. You don't want to be relying on your team. But scrims, yeah. Yeah, scrims, you can rely on your team. You can, be, you can pick up those strategies. You can make an area safe that wouldn't otherwise be safe if it was just you or if, if, you were, if it was you and some teammates that are unliable. So, but we're talking about, like, we're trying to confine our... our um, our advice to specifically making Lucio self-reliant. Because most people aren't going to be doing scrims. Most people are going to be doing solo queue.